So this video is a, a copycat of La Capital. Uh, it's a YouTube channel, a big YouTube channel. The owner of the channel, his name is Oscar, I believe. He made this a while ago. So since then, I was trying to replicate it. Today is the day. I hope I did a good job. He cooked his in the oven instead of the Weber kettle. So mine, I don't want to stink up the house with the beef smell. That's why I went with the with the kettle. The rest in time it didn't affect the smell in the house or anything. It was already cooked. Well friends, welcome back. Thank you for tuning again. Another episode of the Backyard Warrior. Here I have the briskets. Today we're cooking a brisket barbacoa. We're gonna unpack this, cut it into pieces give it a nice sear, cook it low and slow for hours until it falls apart and we'll make some tacos. Yes, we're All right. As always, pat it dry. Not much trimming needed for this brisket. I'm just gonna cut it into pieces so I can give it a nice sear and put it on a clay pot. like this So after trimming, this is what I'm left with. This is the point. I took off all the hard fat. This is the flat. So the game plan on this is to give it a sear for a little bit of char and then cook it low and slow for hours in a clay pot. This is the charm I'm looking for. So this is what I'm looking for, a nice color. This one is done. This meat is done, I mean seared, both sides, nice char, that's what I'm looking for right here. That's beautiful right there. Just like that. Nice, that's beautiful right there. Now I'm gonna crush some fresh black pepper. I'm using a, this mocha hete.
think this is good. Now we're gonna do the garlic. I have probably there's a two heads of garlic in here. Flying garlic. A little bit of salt and some olive oil. This is good right here. This is what I'm looking for. Perfect. So for this cook, I'm using a clay pot and banana leaf. Now, the meat, I'm gonna rub with the garlic paste we made. I'm also using a dried lime some blade of mace it goes well with beef and of course some bay leaves there's a lot of fat on this meat that's gonna render but we're gonna help it with a little bit of beef broth just to make sure everything is moist it's gonna be a long cook a bit of beef broth this has a lot of turmeric it helps with the flavor as well I should be enough. I'm gonna overlap this. I'm gonna cover this with foil just to make sure all the moisture is trapped inside. And it's gonna speed up the cook as well. Put the lid on it and into a Weber kettle it goes for a few hours. I forgot one major thing. Black pepper. Yeah, things happen. All right, so now I have some charcoal here. It's lit. This will give us a few hours of cooking. Uh, as you can see, it's now midnight. I started this around noon, 12 hours. Once this coals die down, I'm gonna rest it in the oven till tomorrow. Okay. Uh, tomorrow we'll do a taste test. Still steaming. Get all these banana leaves. Oh, oh la la, the smell coming out of this clay pot is unbelievable. All right, there you go. Beautiful. Smell is great tender, fall apart, just the way we want it, and, uh, beautiful, this is the flat, this is a piece of the point, look at that, man, fall apart, tender, I'm not even pressing, this is another part of this is another part of the point. Right Beautiful. Nice barbacoa. This is a part of the point. It's very tender. Like I said, you don't even need to chop this. But we're gonna hit it with 
a cleaver just to get a, a fine texture. Let's try some of the point here. Mmm, 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 mmm. Beautiful. I love it. The flavors are great. Now we're gonna mix the flat and the point so to get all that fat incorporated with with the lean part of this brisket so we get even fat to meat ratio and I trimmed some fat in the beginning of this brisket so we don't have all the fat on it some of it so this is what we got left with beautiful nice barbacoa smells good tastes good nice color beautiful is some meat a generous amount let's start with a, just a traditional taco onions and cilantro wow I could eat this every day all day Let's try one with the, this avocado crema. A little bit of queso fresco. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my. I have a fresh salsa roja here. I'm gonna try with these tacos. Beautiful. Mmm, killer. Please do one with everything. A little bit of onions. A little bit of salsa roja. Maybe a little bit more. Queso fresco, a little bit of cilantro, and the crema. Wow, this is a loaded taco. The contrast here, the freshness of the salsa, the fattiness of the meat, the crispiness of the onions all these flavors and textures working together to create one of the best tacos you ever had oh my god this is good now I was a good cook so all this meat is gonna go in a bag vacuum seal and save for later you can do anything with this meat tacos you, you can do flautas you can do fried tacos you can do Media tacos, whatever you need, whatever you like. So this is it for this one. Thank you for tuning in again. Until the next one, stay safe and bye-bye.